This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we are going to talk about disk padlocks. Now these padlocks have a reputation for providing pretty good security. That's probably because one of the largest vulnerabilities of any padlock is cutting the shackle. And that's addressed relatively well in these locks because integral to, to the design is this shroud, I suppose, that covers most of the shackle. So if you can't get to it, you can't cut it. The only bit of the shackle exposed is the part right up top where the hasp will be guarding it. So all of these locks provide very similar cut resistance uh, as far as bolt cutters go. But as far as pick resistance goes, these locks range from the really, really bad to the pretty darn impressive. And I'm going to take you through that line right now. We're, we're going to start with the absolute worst, and that's this one right here. Now this is, I suppose you can say this is just one example of a whole bunch of these locks that come from China. This, uh, this particular one came from Harbor Freight. If you look at the key, you can see it has pretty awful bidding. It's a five pin key, but the lock is only four pins. And needless to say, it picks open really, really easily. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay. One's loose. Click out of two. Click out of three click out of four. Let's go back to one. And there we go. That one in the front of the keyway is always fun to get to. <laughs> okay, not that hard to pick. Uh, even a novice picker should be able to open that pretty quickly. The next in the line we have is this master lock number 40. It's probably the most common of these disc locks in the United States. Provides okay security as far as physical security goes outside of pick resistance. But the pick resistance is about what you would expect to find in any other master lock. And that's a four pin core and a pretty, pretty below average keyway, no security pins. Let's pick this guy open also. Okay, click out of one. Click out of two. Click out of three. And click out of four. Got him open as well. Again, not a whole lot of trouble. Now we're gonna move up the food chain just a little bit. This is a lock made in Germany. It's the Abus Discus model 2870. You can see it has a little bit of a paracentric keyway that's a little bit harder to get into. Another four pin core, probably because the thickness of these locks just doesn't allow for much more than that. And there are a couple security pins in there, a couple spools. Let's pick this guy open. Probably take just a little bit longer than the others, but but not much more, I wouldn't think. Okay, got a little click out of one, click out of two, click out of three, click out of four, back to one, nothing there, two, okay, got her open. Okay, again, not that hard to pick open and Frankly, they shouldn't scare you unless, unless that little paracentric keyway is going to get in your way, but frankly, it shouldn't. Now the final lock I will not be picking open because I can't. It's another Abus, and this is an Abus model 2070, and it has the Abus 1 or Abus Plus core in it. And that is a disc detainer lock. This is what the key looks like. And this lock operates really, really smoothly. Um, you operates like you would expect something that comes from Germany to operate. Operates really, really nicely. Again, this is not a lock I can pick. Frankly, I'm not very adept 
at disk detainer locks, but even those who are, uh, this would give them some pretty serious pause. So we've got a range of these disk detainer locks. We've got some really, really bad ones, and we've got a relatively nice one. What should you use? Depends on what you're locking up. I can't see a lot of things worth putting a lock on that you would put one of these cheap Chinese locks on. Anything of even moderate value, this is the minimum I would consider. And then going up the food chain, if you've got a few bucks to spend on the lock, this, uh, this 2070 with the Abus Plus Core would certainly give any picker a run for their money. So that's all I have for you today on disc padlocks. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.